happens when you take some what what happens when you take a person from from South Asia, from India, from Africa, and you put them in Sweden or in Minnesota or in the UK, a, a, a place where UVB radiation doesn't hit most of the year, and you don't give them a supplement. What happens is they become severely vitamin D deficient, severely. Uh... And what happens when you take? I mean, I mean, you can throw this on the on. You can flip flip this over and say, okay, what happens when you take the guy from the UK, the Brit, and put him in Australia? Like without any sunscreen or without a hat they're or a cancer. they're gonna yeah. yeah. So I mean, do you think that this could be a factor in why so many African Americans are getting hit so yes. hard? Yes. So here's the thing. Wow. Uh, so African Americans are there's lots of all right. <laughs> African Americans are are, are in, in in the United States. There's been studies. Um, African Americans are severely deficient. They're 28 times more deficient in vitamin D than than Caucasians. Whoa. Yeah, and it's 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 because it's because they have darker skin and. You know, if and they're not getting enough sun. They're not getting enough sun because people stay inside more. People stay mm. inside. You know, it's not it's not like the old days when we were out hunter gatherer and out in the sun right. all the time. We're in our we're inside all the time. We're in school. We're we're at work in our office in our cubicle. Um, so the CDC, you know, obviously there's been studies showing that African Americans are more hit, but they didn't really correct for tons of like other factors because socioeconomic status is important. Uh, health, other health factors, you know. And um, but there was a big study just released not long ago from from like the National Office of Statistics in Britain or something like that. I don't know what their official name was, but they released um, some statistics from England and Wales. And the um, I don't know what the correct name to say. I mean, the, the, the blacks there are basically living in England and in Wales are four times more likely to die of COVID-19 than, than whites. When they, when they adjusted all that data for socioeconomic status and for other health factors, they were two times more likely to die. So clearly socioeconomic status and other health factors are playing a role, but there's something else unidentified. And I think it's vitamin D. I think that, you know, so, you know, the vitamin D, look, it hasn't, look, vitamin, I'm not saying that vitamin D is going to, prevent you from getting COVID-19 or it's a treatment, although I am involved in a, a clinical study where we're going to be testing a very small open arm study we can talk about. But, you know, I'm not a, a physician. I'm a medical doctor. I've never intubated anyone. Uh, so don't think I'm saying that. I don't want people to think I'm saying it's a treatment. I just want to, it's a hypothesis that needs to be tested. And thankfully, there are clinical trials, randomized control trials that are now ongoing and there are some that are recruiting. But it's just the statistics that you've already listed about vitamin D. And the people that have had COVID-19, those are insane. It's insane. And also in Sweden, there's a huge population of Somalis that have migrated to Sweden. And they have been identified as being severely vitamin D deficient because a lot of the Somalis have off, they're also like, like autism rates are really high there. And there's this link between, I published a link also between vitamin D and autism. But so there's been studies looking at vitamin D levels in the Somali population. I mean, they are so deficient because you're taking, again, you're taking someone who's supposed to be, who's, you know, evolved to be getting a lot of sun, um, but not burn from it. And then, and then putting them in a place where they, they can't get any vitamin D from the sun. And if they don't get a supplement, like they're going to be deficient, wow. you know, and they're so much more likely, they're, they're like, it's, it's wreaking havoc in Sweden. Year and you don't give them a supplement, what happens is they become severely vitamin D deficient, severely. And what happens when you take, I mean, I mean, you can throw this on the, on, you can flip, flip this over and say, okay, what happens when you take the guy from the UK, the Brit, and put him in Australia, like without any sunscreen or without a hat yeah. or anything? They're gonna, yeah, so I mean. Do you think that this could be a factor in why so many African-Americans are getting hit so yes. hard? So here's the thing. Uh, so African-Americans are, there's lots of- How long y'all been here? <laughs> African-Americans are, 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 are in, in, in I didn't ask y'all to stop sneaking up on me. I hope you're taking your vitamin D. Got a mask on? Because it's real out here in these COVID streets. First family. I want to welcome you to the Congregation of the Mighty, the home of the stubborn minority, the place where your hustle builds muscle. This is Giami Journey Media, and I am your host, Brother Hot Tim Family, and I want to come to you and talk to you about what you just saw. 
Now, we have a Dr. Rhonda Patrick. She was on the Joe Rogan podcast. If you haven't started watching it or, you know what I'm saying, every now and then when you ain't got nothing to do, go and check out Joe Rogan because he has some dynamic guests, right? He, he's a king of the podcast right now. So, But anyway, he had Dr. Rhonda Patrick talking about the importance of vitamin D and how black folks all over the world, right, one of the possible, and she stresses possible reasons that we are being affected in the way that we are being affected is because we're not getting enough vitamin D. And vitamin D assists the immune system, right, family? So there's things that we can do to kind of help curb some of the stuff that's going on with this pandemic in our communities, right? One, start taking your vitamin D. Two, Get you some probiotics, you know what I'm saying? Because your microbiome helps with your immune system. Also, exercise. If you remember, when you come to Giami Journey in the morning, we talk about the four pillars of Giami, breathing, drinking water, drinking water, right? Um, is uh, Breathing, drinking water, eating a culturally appropriate diet, and movement. Right. We got to start adding some of these things to our regimen. We got to add all these things to our regimen every day so that we can stay healthy, family, because I need you so that you can go and click them, click that like button and continue coming and checking us out here on all of our platforms. Family, remember, join us on GNJ.media. Join us on GNJ.media. And also, if you want to learn more about the four pillars and preventing things like what's going on in the world right now from happening to you, check us out. Right? Get our e-course. Go to www.freegnjecourse.com. That's freegnjecourse.com. And let's keep building. Let's keep building. We ain't got nothing else to do. We're locked up in the house. So let's keep building, right? See you on the next episode. Watch the next video. Watch the next video. Watch the next video. No, I'm just joking, family. Family, thank you for joining us. Be sure to catch us on the next video, family. Peace. Watch the next video. Wow.